Harry and Meghan, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, are beginning a three-day visit to Nigeria as part of publicity around the Invictus Games. Now, it follows an announcement by Meghan that she's 43% Nigerian. Welcome to the Sussex Squadron channel. I'm your host, Lawrence Bett, diving into a remarkable day for the Duke and Duchess of Sussex in Nigeria. Today, we focus on the royal couple's heartwarming arrival at Lightway Academy in Abuja, where an exuberant welcome awaited them. As Prince Harry and Meghan stepped out of their vehicle, the air buzzed with excitement and the vibrant sounds of local music. The scene was nothing short of picturesque, with students and faculty lined up, their faces bright with smiles, eagerly anticipating the chance to greet the royals. The couple was immediately swept up in a whirlwind of cultural celebration. A group of students performed a dynamic dance, their movements synchronized in a beautiful display of local tradition and joy. This wasn't just a welcome, it was a full-on celebration reflecting the rich cultural heritage of Nigeria. Adding to the festive atmosphere, Prince Harry and Meghan were adorned with traditional necklaces. These weren't mere ornaments, they were symbols of honour and a warm embrace from the community. The necklaces, intricately designed, seemed to tell a story of unity and respect, linking the royals to the heart of Nigerian culture. The Duke and Duchess, visibly moved by the reception, engaged warmly with the crowd their faces reflecting the joy and excitement that filled the Academy's grounds. It was clear that this visit was not just a formality, but a meaningful connection with the people of Nigeria. With such a warm reception, the stage was perfectly set for an impactful visit. Beyond the warm welcomes, the heart of today's visit lies in the couple's deep commitment to educational and philanthropic initiatives. As we delve deeper into their activities, it's evident that Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are not just visiting Nigeria, they are making a significant impact. Central to their mission is their collaboration with the Gyanko Foundation, a beacon of hope in Nigeria that focuses on critical healthcare and educational services. This partnership is bolstered by the couple's own Arkewell Foundation, which has been actively involved in uplifting the educational landscape here. One of the most tangible outcomes of this collaboration is the provision of school supplies and menstrual products to young women across Nigeria. This initiative is crucial because access to these supplies can significantly influence a girl's ability to consistently attend school. Educating young women not only empowers them, but also contributes to breaking the cycle of poverty. Moreover, the Archiwell Foundation's support extends to the David Oyelowo Leadership Scholarship. Named after the acclaimed actor and philanthropist who shares a deep connection with Nigeria, the scholarship provides full tuition, medical care and emotional support to young female victims of terrorism and gender inequality. This scholarship is a lifeline for its recipients, offering them not just education, but a pathway to rebuild their lives with dignity and hope. The impact of these efforts is profound. By focusing on the educational needs and well-being of young women, the Duke and Duchess are addressing foundational issues that affect not just individuals, but generations. They are not merely giving aid, they are building the frameworks that will continue to support these young women to become leaders and change-makers in their communities. Through these initiatives, the Duke and Duchess not only provide support, but also hope and opportunities for many young lives in Nigeria. Their actions reflect a deep-seated belief that education is the cornerstone of development and that every child deserves a chance to reach their full potential. Today's visit is not just about philanthropy, it's a significant step on a broader international stage. As Prince Harry and Meghan mark their first official international tour since stepping back from their royal roles, this visit to Nigeria holds a deeper resonance. It's a demonstration of their ongoing commitment to global humanitarian issues, even beyond the confines of the royal family. Their presence at Lightway Academy in partnership with the Gianco Foundation isn't merely a gesture of goodwill, it is a strategic engagement. Invited by Nigeria's Chief of Defence Staff, the highest ranking military official, the visit carries weight. This invitation is a testament to the influence and esteem Prince Harry and Meghan command on the international stage. It bridges humanitarian interests with diplomatic ties, highlighting a unique role that the Sussexes are poised to play in global affairs. 
Moreover, this visit to Nigeria could set a precedent for future philanthropic and diplomatic endeavors. The couple's work with the Gianco Foundation, especially in empowering young women through education and health initiatives, aligns with broader global goals like those outlined in the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. Their involvement brings attention and resources to critical issues, fostering international collaboration. This visit underscores the global reach and influence that Prince Harry and Meghan continue to wield through their post-royal endeavours. It's not just about the immediate impact of their charitable work, but also about shaping how global humanitarian efforts are perceived and executed in the future. Beyond the formalities, let's zoom into the personal interactions that highlighted today's event. As Prince Harry and Meghan navigated through the corridors of Lightway Academy, the warmth and enthusiasm were palpable. The children, dressed in vibrant school uniforms, were not just spectators, but active participants in this royal encounter. One could see the Duchess's eyes light up as a small group of young students presented her with a handmade card, their faces beaming with pride. Prince Harry, with his characteristic charm, knelt down to their level, engaging in earnest conversations that seemed to ask as much as they answered. The couple's interactions weren't limited to the young ones. Teachers and local leaders shared moments of informal dialogue with them, exchanging ideas and laughter. In these exchanges, one could sense a genuine respect and eagerness to learn from each other. The Duke and Duchess didn't just visit, they connected, they listened and they participated. During a brief speech, Harry took a moment to express his admiration for the teacher's dedication to shaping future leaders. His words, it's not just about teaching, it's about inspiring, resonated deeply with the educators present. Meghan too shared heartfelt remarks about the importance of supporting young women's education and health, reflecting on her own experiences and the transformative power of opportunity. Perhaps the most touching moment came when a young girl, no older than eight, recited a poem she had written about hope and the future. Meghan's response was a hug that seemed to last an eternity, symbolizing more than just gratitude, a shared dream for a brighter future. As the visit drew to a close, the couple's departure was as meaningful as their arrival. With promises to return and ongoing support through their foundation, the Duke and Duchess left an indelible mark on the hearts of many. These moments of personal connection add a layer of sincerity and commitment to their mission. As we wrap up today's coverage, let's glance into the future implications of this landmark visit. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex's journey to Nigeria opens a new chapter in their ongoing commitment to global humanitarian efforts. Their engagement at Lightway Academy, in partnership with the Gianco Foundation, may just be the beginning of a series of impactful projects. Looking ahead, we might see the Sussexes further deepen their ties with Nigeria through additional educational initiatives and health programs. Given their track record, it's plausible to expect future visits that not only spotlight, but actively enhance these initiatives. The focus on menstrual health education and the provision of school supplies are indicative of a sustainable approach, aiming to empower the youth and particularly young women. The ripple effects of today's engagements could be profound. By fostering educational opportunities and supporting healthcare, the Archwell Foundation is potentially setting the stage for transformative changes in local communities. These efforts align with broader goals of reducing inequalities and promoting social justice. The seeds planted today in Nigeria promise to bear fruit that may very well transform lives and communities. As we conclude today's episode, let's reflect on the significant strides made by the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. Their visit to Nigeria, starting with the heartwarming welcome at Lightway Academy, has been nothing short of inspirational. They've not only graced the grounds of this esteemed educational institution, but also shone a light on the crucial work of the Gianco Foundation. Throughout their stay, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have engaged in a series of events that underscore their unwavering commitment to humanitarian causes. Their interactions with the students and staff at Lightway Academy were particularly poignant 
highlighting their genuine interest in fostering educational opportunities and supporting health initiatives in regions heavily impacted by gender inequality and terrorism. The couple's efforts didn't stop at mere appearances. They actively participated in discussions and activities which enhanced their connection with the local community and brought international attention to pressing issues. This visit marks a significant chapter in their ongoing journey of philanthropy, one that resonates with the values they have consistently championed through their Archwell Foundation. Moreover, their ability to draw global awareness to such critical issues is commendable. By spotlighting the David Oyelowo Leadership Scholarship and the provision of essential health education and supplies, they are helping to pave the way for a brighter future for many young women in Nigeria. As we wrap up, it's clear that the Duke and Duchess of Sussex are not just visiting figures, but catalysts for change. Their actions speak volumes about their dedication to making a tangible difference in the world, a commitment that continues to inspire and mobilize support across continents. Thank you for joining us today. Keep tuned for more updates and explorations into the impactful journey of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. Whether it's their next international tour or their ongoing advocacy work, you can count on the Sussex Squadron channel to bring you insightful coverage and in-depth analysis of their endeavours.